We are officially live, people. This time we got video and everything for y'all. This is the uh, super belated podcast starring Easy E, Eric himself, the writer of Rap for the Undead. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Dark Dimension LLC owner. And uh, I'm the humble artist, art of lunatic here. You know what I mean? Back in effect. I know we've been gone for too damn long, but, uh, you know, we back. And we about to talk about some little spooky shit. You know, I got my homie Chucky in the background. He with us too, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Chucky's there. <laughs> yeah. So we good to go, homie. I'm trying to set up my, there you go. Oh, okay. There we go. You. Finally. All right. All right. How you been, man? I've been good, bro. All right, um, for sure. Just got married like uh, two months ago. Yeah, married so man now. It, it's, <laughs> it's a lot different, you know? A yeah, lot of different responsibilities, a lot of different things you got to do. Damn. Man. It's just like a uh, whole different life, bro. I bet. It's a, but it's a new page, though. It's a new page in your it's life. It's a new That's page, cool, different things, different That's routines. Cool. And uh, yeah, man, but I got to start getting back into writing because I stopped writing uh, once I started <laughs> yeah. doing all this whole wedding preparation. It takes right. up a lot of your time. You know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You got a lot. So many. Oh. oh, my God. We lost Eric people. Hold on. We have technical difficulties. <laughs> um, he's back. Oh, he's back. Yeah, I'm back. There he is. There all right. All okay. Right. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, so uh, wedding, the you know difficulties of married life has hindered your writing process for the moment, you know. Yeah, for the moment, but now that the uh, wedding is over and all that's done, and we got our our routine settled, I know when I can start writing again. I know that's a good time when I want to start writing, so oh, I'm gonna use good. that window and then get back to doing it. Thing is, you that's just awesome. gotta stay consistent, consistent with writing. Um, like anything else, anything else that you want to accomplish in life, you just gotta stick with it you got to make yourself accountable for what you do right and and just stick to it kind of like you with your art right like yeah. whenever you're trying to finish a piece you have to push yourself to to get on the drawing board yeah every night even on the days yourself. you don't feel like it, uh, exactly even on the day it's like mean. working out too for those people uh yeah. that don't feel like working out or understand what i'm talking about uh sometimes you don't feel like going to the gym but it's not because you feel like it is because you know you have to you, yeah. you already program yourself to go get your ass right. up and go to the gym and get <laughs> well, what like you work too done. you know like going to work you know you don't feel exactly. like going to work going but you to have work. to go you know you got to make money you know what I'm saying so <laughs> exactly at go, least man. you 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 get a compensation for it at the end of the day because you get paid <laughs> yeah but with true. us with you us, don't see that our, so. <laughs> it's different with yeah. our practice we don't really have or anything promised you know that's, that's interesting what, you bring that up though Cause I was gonna say I, I seen a post I forgot if it was on Twitter or something but the guy was like you know I feel like almost like sorry or something for like our uh, writers because writers don't really get to preview what they're doing really you know what I mean like yeah. they don't they don't get to put their stuff out to it's done you know what I mean so and artists we could just play here's a work in progress you know what I mean you know what I'm saying we could <laughs> yeah. do that shit but with writers it's a little different man it's a little tricky yeah it's something that you have to wait for a long time yeah and but there are some writers that do have that uh that do program themselves to write every night at least 10 pages at least 10 pages. my hat's off to them because i don't know how they do it bro 10 pages <laughs> a night is yeah a thousand words a night uh, it's crazy but like i said it's just it takes time and something you have to do nobody's gonna tell you to do it you gotta you gotta push yourself and do it and sometimes yeah, you can't definitely. wait on motivation because and anything you accomplish in life, I think 10% of it is motivation. And then 90% of it is actually you committing yourself to do it. The discipline. Yeah. Exactly. The discipline. Just discipline. Uh, Takes a lot of discipline. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's 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 where I'm at right now. Oh, okay. That's what's up. What about you? Are you working on anything new? Any new part, projects? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm working on a few pieces. Uh, one that I'm particularly uh, excited about is uh, this Batman one I'm doing uh, for the Batman, uh, you know, the movie. So it's the new it's one, be, right? Yeah, the new one. Yeah. So it's gonna be like a poster type art what? that I'm doing for it. You know what I mean? It's it's really cool. Speaking of Batman, how do you feel about uh the guy playing Batman? <laughs> from I think Twilight. It, I'm, I'm gonna give you um my two cents. I like how he looks as Batman. Yeah. But his Bruce Wayne is off to me. He, he reminds me more of Matt Murdock, you know, from a uh, Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. what he reminds because he had he those does. glasses on. I yeah. mean, he looks like Matt Murdock, but yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't come off as a, a Bruce Wayne. No, nah, what the director said though is he he still hasn't found that persona though that Bruce Wayne swa. He hasn't made that persona yet, 
So he's mm. still like a troubled, angry, you know, dude, you know what I mean? And uh, I read the synopsis for it uh, lately. They said he's he's more like a serial killer right now. Like his mind okay. state is that fucked up. So it's really, yeah. it's, it's coming from a dark place, you know? He looks kind of dark. He looks emo, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, emo. Exactly. He has that emo look. Um, I've never really seen any of his movies, though, but uh, people have said outside the Twilight movies that he's a good actor. No, he is. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? That, that is absolutely, absolutely true. I have seen some of his, his work outside of it. Yeah. And he he's he's a good actor, man. That guy's got good range. Yeah, he, he does, can perf- yeah. he can act. He can. Uh, I see some of his dramas. He's a good he's a good actor. So oh, okay. uh, I can I can see him pulling pulling this off as Bruce Wayne. He looks dope yeah, in the a, cow, though. Like he looks. Yeah, cool he, does. Like, he, he does. He does look cool. I also yeah. read that uh, he's not disciplined with working out. He's one of those people. He's like, ah, fuck working out. Oh, I remember that like earlier last year or some shit. Yeah. 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 I remember he was that slacking shit. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, co- that COVID life. Yeah. Yeah. Like COVID life, man. man. Speaking of Batman. Uh, yeah. I saw some of your work also. Oh, oh yeah. I'm okay. sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just, I was going to go off on a rant. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it up in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's Batman related. No, I was going to talk about your. Your predator piece. So we're oh talking yeah, about yeah, art. yeah, that was dope, man. It was really Appreciate cool. That, I, I really like that one, bro. You you got all the characters in there. You got Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, you got the guy that played um, Apollo. I forget his real name. Damn, I'm blanking out right now. But yeah, yeah I'm blanking Creed. out too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that guy. Yeah. Um, and, and all the characters in there. Yeah. Uh, the Native American dude, the one that dies on that bridge with the knife. That was <laughs> yeah, a sick ass scene. Too bad we yeah, didn't get to see the fight, job. though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You could just imagine it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is. That's the thing. Like, well, that would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been cool. Yeah. It, it was cool to see. I don't know if you remember the uh, w- that movie. It's about aliens, and they they send people to a planet, and then oh, they hunt them. Oh, Predators, the 2010 one? Is I that think it? that's the one, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then there's a cool uh, scene where he fights a samurai. Yeah, that is a cool. Gangster, scene. right? Yeah, he was Dude, like a Japanese cool. yakuza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, he won. That was awesome. he won that fight. That, that was, was a cool scene. It that was, was cool dope. cinema too, right there. The, the way they shot it, yeah. like that. I like. But yeah, that man, movie. that piece you did was dope. Thank you. How thank long you. did that take you? Well, that took a while, man. It took a few weeks, man, because I just I had to make each character, and I was, it, was, it was a little struggle though, just getting you know making them look like the characters, you know, the facial features and everything. Right, right. Um, the camo was hard to draw too, so yeah. Who gave you the the, the most difficulty um i forgot the dude's name i'm blanking out but he was in i think he was in the heat of the night the show or some shit uh, okay the black dude they got his uh, like the predator shot him in the head in the movie oh, you know, his boy died gonna have you some fun. <laughs> gonna have you some fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, I I, when that. i drew him at first he looked like debo i was like he looks like debo like, yeah. fuck? <laughs> like i gotta change the features on it and shit you know what i'm saying yeah but, yeah you know you, and it yeah. came out really good though I appreciate that, man. Have you put that on a shirt yet, or how do you how are you sending that? I think so. I think I did put it on T Public. It uh, it hasn't really sold though. I guess people haven't seen it though. It's like I just need a different way to promote it or something. Uh, so it's More weird how how people buy some shit and they don't buy others. So I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, it's a little strange. Yeah, that's it's cool, man. So algorithm. How, yeah, the algorithm. Yeah, fucking algorithm, and it changes all the time too. Yeah, you have to keep up with it. That's the whole thing about social media. You just got to keep up with this shit. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to keep it's up with It's like you got to put uh, a lot of time into it. Yeah. My TikTok has been uh, recently getting a lot of hits, though. Um, That's good, I, man. Yeah, I started it. Um, it's like some of my Chucky pieces because, you know, the Chucky show is coming up. Oh, um, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen two episodes of it. It's pretty cool, man. It's funny. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that they're just expanding his story and his backstory in it, you know. So I okay. think that's what's cool about it. But um, I guess because of that show's popularity, I, like kids are looking more into Chucky. So I've been getting yeah. hits on how to draw Chucky in those videos I made and stuff like that. So that's cool. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. I was, say, I was telling somebody like uh, Chucky and Michael Myers, man, they're the most successful slashers from the 80s, man. Like they're seeing, And they're still they're here. They're still popular. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> Freddy's not here. Uh, the other slashers haven't been Jason. doing well. Jason hasn't Jason. been doing well. But, but Jason's I, because I heard, of a legal thing, right? Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. I was going to talk about. Yeah, something, I don't know, somebody had the rights or something like that. They don't. I can't remember exactly the backstory, but yeah. yeah. Whatever legal issues happen with that, <laughs> hopefully it gets resolved because I need me some Jason. Wait, <laughs> they haven't been a Jason. Oh, 
uh, we have a uh, technical difficulties with uh, Eric's uh, Eric's uh, signal right now, so I don't know. I might have to put this on pause for a little bit till we uh, get back. Hold on. All right, we're recording. We're back, people. Just had a little right. internet issue, you know. So, <laughs> how bad? <laughs> what the but, hell was uh, I saying? I forgot. <laughs> would you hate that? I, like, when you say old, something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if it's age or what the hell it is, but it happens age, to me, man. We too much weed, too much beer in our life, alcohol, you know, kids. <laughs> Getting on my drugs, brain cells. You know yeah. yeah, or else you end up like us. What'd you do uh, for Halloween, though? Uh, let's see. Nothing much, bro. That I weekend feel. of, that weekend of on Friday night, I did buy tickets to a club, but the oh, club okay. was on a boat. Oh, cool. shit. Oh, nice. Yeah, it Fancy. was really fun. Yeah. It was a, yeah, it was a real cool party. Costume party, of course. 50 bucks oh, answer per good. person. So me and my wife, we went. We went as uh, Skulls. <laughs> she uh, dressed up as this little cat suit, and then she painted, oh, my, yeah. she painted her face one half of the side, one half of the face, and then she painted my other half of the face. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool. So we look like yin yang. But yeah, it was cool. Man. It was fun. <laughs> it took yang. off. It took yang. off from the, the Long Beach port. It was about a three hour tour, a three hour tour. <laughs> and uh, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. And, but that's it. That's all I did for Halloween. The following day, Saturday and Sunday, I didn't do much. Just chilled around, okay. around the house. She works um, oh. on the weekend, so she doesn't get off until nine. Oh, okay. Damn. So wasn't what really wasn't much to do. And then when she gets off, she's pretty tired. So mm. and then, like, just watch a hollow, uh, scary movie. What the hell did I watch? Damn, I can't remember what I watched. Oh, I, I remember now. I watched Lamb. Oh, I heard this is weird. Huh? I haven't seen it. It's yet. a fucking weird ass movie, bro. <laughs> it looks uh, worse from the trailers. Do you want me to tell you what happens? Yeah. Or do you want to watch it? All right. Spoiler uh, alert. So spoiler if, alert. If anybody, <laughs> yeah, put the sound effects in there. <laughs> if anybody is interested in watching Lamb, uh, spoiler alert coming in. Five, four, three, two, one. You've one. been warned. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> wow but it it sucked because i wasn't thinking that it was a horror movie it's oh. not it's just a weird ass fucking movie Damn. about about a lamb it, it is a little a little per- here, here's what happens okay in the <laughs> beginning it starts off really creepy and i right. thought oh shit is that the devil or something it, all you hear is uh something walking with thundering footsteps and it's breathing really hard, kind of like a, a ram or some shit, like a goat. But it stands really tall, and it's walking through <laughs> the mountains. The and yeah. it scares the animals. Like, it scares, it scares away wild horses. They run from it. And then it walks down to a farm. In the farm, uh, the sheep are looking at it. Like, they're bewildered by what it is, and they're a little afraid of it. And then it cuts to a different scene, and it seems like... No, it is what happens. Whatever this thing is, it has sex with one of the sheep. And the sheep, the the, the, the female sheep walks out like yeah. super tired. Like she just got ramped. <laughs> <laughs> she just falls super tired. <laughs> like she got Damn. the living shit fucked out of her. <laughs> uh, and wow. then like weeks later, it has a baby. And the farmers look at it like, what the fuck? But they don't show what it is in the beginning. Not until several scenes later, yeah. they show that the baby has the head of a goat, uh, a lamb, and the rest of it is human. So it's got a human arm. It's like a mutant. Exactly. It's like a Damn. mutant. So they raise it like a baby. And um, I guess because they had a daughter and the daughter died, it doesn't really explain how the daughter dies. You mm-hmm. just know that because you see a, there's a scene where the, where the girl, the lady, the mom, is at a, the tomb and just hanging out there with her, with her lamb. Wow! And she names the lamb the same name that her daughter was, which is Ada. Oh, okay. Anyway, towards the end of the movie, the father comes back, and it's a ram. It's like half man, half lamb. So it's got the it's got the horns, and it's got the face of a ram. But the rest of his body is man. It's, it's this big, tall dude, like seven feet tall. What the fuck? Yeah, it's super weird. But it's the and the way what he does. You want me to tell you how it ends? 
Go ahead. Fuck it. He ends up Spoiler killing, He ends up shooting the adoptive father, the farmer, the adoptive father of the little lamb, the little whatever thing it is. He, he shoots, shoots him. It. He shoots it with his own rifle. <laughs> okay. Instead of, I thought, it, you know, it would have been cool if he like eats him or some shit like that or tears him apart, something gory, but <laughs> yeah, fucking shoots him. I was like, wow. It was, it was, it's a really crazy movie. And I think it has meaning. Yeah. Um, Probably like a metaphor uh, or something. Yeah. What I took from it was uh, when, whenever you fuck with uh, Mother Nature, it's going to fuck with you back. Oh, okay. So I think that's what I took from it. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not a horror movie. And if you're, if you're going into it, don't have expectations of a Lord horror word expectations. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> so that's how Man. I spent my Halloween watching this fucking wild ass movie about an actual lamb. Man. It's not just a, a, a name. It's, it's really about a lamb. Wow. Yeah, man. Anyway, how was your Halloween? I had to work. <laughs> no, oh, I, I didn't do it. Yeah. I, I didn't really get to do any, anything too cool this, uh, this year, man. Cause, uh, because COVID, um, mainly because of COVID, because, you know, at the parks, at the mazes, they require a vaccination thing. And so yeah. I'm vaccinated, but my girl isn't, and then my other homie isn't either. So I really didn't have any, anybody to go with, and they didn't want to do all that. It was just too much uh, complications and shit. And then some other things happened that just caused, you know, this October to not be all that great. But uh, yeah. fuck it, we'll just do it next year, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. hopefully we'll be alive, and I'll be able to go, and, you know what I'm saying, have fun and everything, but. Right now, because of COVID, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is. Things a little different. Yeah, things a little different. But I watch, uh, you know, horrors, movies, and all that kind of shit, you know? Oh, I finally watched uh, The Exorcist Part 3. You remember telling me Oh, about you it? did watch it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Man. It's on Netflix. I don't think I've ever seen it before. I don't oh, know wow. why, but it just completely missed my radar. That's crazy. And then I saw that it was on Netflix. So I was like, let me take a watch. It was good, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Did you see the humor that, that your boy, uh, the author, injects into it? Like, it's some yeah, really yeah, weird, yeah. dry humor. Yeah, it's, it was really cool. That yeah. scene with the with the grand, the old lady walking on the ceiling. <laughs> that shit's funny. That was crazy. That shit's like unintentionally funny too, though, because she's <laughs> like Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? You know, what I mean, crawling and shit. But yeah, uh, the old people cool were movie. creepy. You know, what I mean, uh, the yeah. voice too, the old lady voice was fucking creepy. Um, and when she kills the priest, movies. that was a crazy. That was a creepy scene when she kills the priest. Yeah, the end. The end's kind of crazy too. It's like the special effects and everything are pretty wild uh, when they yeah. do the exorcism. But uh, I really like it. I like the actor too, man. The detective, like he's really cool, man. I really like him and his uh the relationship he had with his, his friend, the priest that died. Oh, yeah. yeah like funny, I love their little banters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, odd couple type thing. It was weird. Yeah. But it's funny. Yeah. It was really cool. No doubt. Um, I got to see, uh, I don't know if we talked about it, but I'm wearing the shirt right now. The Candyman, the new one. Uh, uh, how was it? I liked it. Um, I know there's been a little bit of controversy over it because um, a lot of people saying it's been like like it's a little bit too woke, um, things like that. But I feel like the original Candyman was like that as well. It, it just it was just a little bit more subtle about okay. about it. Um, but it's it's you know the original ones told from this perspective of the white lady, you know Helen. Yeah. And so this one's a little bit different because you have a black artist and he's trying to gain fame and he finds out about Candyman. And um, that person actually turns out that he was in the first movie at the beginning. He, he was a baby that Candyman had chosen to keep the legacy of Candyman going. Um, or as Candyman would say, his congregation. <laughs> mm, so uh, okay. he likes to keep the legend and the mythos going so he can stay alive. It's like, I feel like it feeds his power. You know, he's called, it's almost like Freddy Krueger, how fear, you know, gives him power him, or whatever. Yeah, yeah right. so it, it's um, kind of the same issue. Uh I like the cinematography in it. It was really cool, man. Like uh, Nia DaCosta, she, she's really good at that. But yeah, uh, the some of the, you know, um, the stuff they talk about is a little bit on the nose, you know, with the police brutality and everything. But, you know, it's relevant, you know what I mean? So, okay. Uh, the only, my only real complaint really was not enough Tony Todd in it, man. Uh, spoiler alert for those who haven't seen it. But uh, Tony Todd was the guy, you know, who played the original Kenny Man. And he is in this. he comes out in it? He's in this, but it's, it's okay. like at the very end, you know what I mean? Is he Kenny Man? He is Candyman, but there's, but basically, uh, basically what's going on, there's other Candyman, like the oh, myth. There's other Candyman. It's supposed to, um, I guess, in a way, it represents uh, a generational trauma of black people, you know what I mean? Like, they've been, you know, because there's, like, several stories going on. Like, there was an act, like, the Candyman in this one is, like, this guy that was an actual Candyman that gave out candy to kids. 
Okay. Basically, something was happening to where some kids ate some candy that had some blades in them, and the police thought it was him because, you know, he's a candy man or whatever. And he was creepy, though. I'm not going to lie. It was creepy. He's coming out of holes and shit in the, in the projects. But the mm. uh, police go, and, and this that part was set in the 70s, and they basically kill him and shit, you know what I mean? And just, like, brutally mm. kill him. And so he becomes, in a way, a candy man, part of the mythos. And so he carries on that. But uh, what I think is cool about it is they, they kind of give out the idea that it's a hive mind type thing. So, you know, like bees. So okay. Goes, it ties back into that. So all these other kind of people that are taking on the Candyman mantle are really just part of the original Candyman. And he's really I see. Dead. And so I think that was cool about it, you know. But uh, I just I just miss Tony Todd because he, he had a really good presence and he had that voice, you know what I mean? And so, but the main character, he slowly becomes Candyman. So there's some cool body horror, though. Because in the beginning, <laughs> uh, there's a bee that, like, bites him and shit. And he starts, like, his skin just starts getting really nasty. He starts picking at it and shit. It's, like, yeah. really gross, man. It's like, And towards the end of it, there's this crazy-ass scene that happens where he's just getting mutilated. And it's just crazy. And, um, but so it has some the, of that 80s body yeah. mutilation type of thing. Yeah, What's definitely. Going, huh? Definitely. Oh, you know, good. Like, the music and shit's cool. Uh, but uh, it's not as good as the first one, I would say. But it's, it's definitely up there, man. It's, like, it's definitely one of the best sequels. Because, you know, okay. it, Candyman had other sequels back in the 90s, but they weren't, you know, all that great. But this yeah. one's cool, though, you know what I mean? So hopefully, you know, if they watch. make another one. It did okay. well, though. Like, I uh, heard it did well at, at the movies and everything, so. You know what really did well at the box office? It made, What's like, that? over 50 million. What's that? Halloween. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was just about to ask you, did you watch it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. And okay. I went to go see it at the theater. Oh, okay, I went that's to, cool. went to City Walk. I took my wife there. It was the I first time. Walk. She loved it. Oh, really? She oh, a right. taking pictures everywhere and shit. Yeah, City Walk's cool. But yeah. Okay. Uh, what are your I thoughts? thought it was cool, but what I really hated were the cheesy moments. It dies tonight. Like shit like, like that. <laughs> oh, I heard about that, yeah. I didn't see it, <laughs> so I, I haven't seen it yet. My, uh, my oh, girlfriend seen, seen it. it. No, nah, okay. she's seen it, but uh, I didn't get right, to see it because we didn't go to movies. But uh, right, I'm not going to yeah. give you the spoiler. I'm not going to tell you what happened. <laughs> I, I do hate yeah. the way that it ends. You know what? You could spoil it for me. I don't at this point. I don't really care because I've heard so many people on Twitter talk about it. And it's just I don't even care. Anymore. Okay, I mean, all right. Well, obviously he died, right? right? Because there's a another one coming out. I completely forgot that yeah. they had signed one more. I completely forgot about that until I seen the poster. I saw the movie. Yeah. yeah. Um. So the the death scenes are awesome. They're cool. They're a little throwback to how gruesome they used to be back in the eighties. So yeah. I, lo- I love that stuff. The, the yeah, whole gore, gruesome death scenes thing going, and but the act, some of the acting was questionable. Some of the cheesy lines in there were questionable. Some of those things that I just was like, really, did they really and get tonight, that in there? Isn't that what it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then everybody yeah. in the hospital is chanting it, and yeah, evil and tonight. Like, oh my god, really. this is too much. <laughs> uh, and then the way it ends yeah. too. I, I didn't like the way it ends. I heard a lot of people I, say that. Yeah. It was kind of stupid. It could have had a different ending, but the way they went with it and then the way that they recorded it, the way they filmed it, it, it was just, I don't know. It could have been a lot better, in my opinion. Oh, wow. But obviously, it sets it up for just the following movie. I forgot what the name of it is. Okay. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun watch. It's it's really cool. The, guy the original plays, characters are in it, huh? Like, uh, characters yeah, from the original ca- Yeah, that was really cool to see. Yeah. That's cool. That's what that's what got me interested in it. To be honest, I was just like, it's cool that they brought the uh, other characters from the other movies, but it kind of confuses yeah. me on what timeline they're going with, though. You know what I mean? So I'm not really. They sure. explain it too, though. So they, oh, they do explain yeah. it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they explain uh, it. Cool. And they they show these characters where they came from, and how they fit into this movie. So they they give right. a little explanation, which is cool for those people who haven't seen the original. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, um, it's like any other Halloween movie, bro. <laughs> He's going to live. <laughs> He's not going to die. Yeah, I know. Like, in a, remember Halloween H2O? Like, it ends with him getting his head chopped off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and then Resurrections him. is like, oh, no, that was like a dream. I was like, what? Get the fuck no, out of here. Uh, you know it was a paramedic, I think. Oh, that shit was stupid. I, that's what, <laughs> I hated Halloween Resurrections. That shit with Buster Rhymes and shit in it, man. That's oh, yeah. So nah. Let's not even times. talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's just. I actually low. think I went to go see it at the theaters. Oh high no! Expectations. Yeah, wow. I like H two O though. H two O was cool, man. With Jamie H- Lee Curtis, right? Yeah, because they set it up to where like it's similar to the one 
that just came the one that came out in 2018 basically you know she comes back to fight face him or whatever yeah and yeah. she had a son and all that but it Josh, has a cool Josh Hartnett or something like that yeah I feel, he hasn't been in any movies lately but he was a cool actor though from the 90s yeah he was so, cool yeah but I like that movie it was cool LL Cool chasing it and shit. <laughs> you know, yeah. but it was cool man I liked it yeah Did you hear, uh, if uh, you like if you like oh, Halloween yeah. you'll, you'll like this movie so for yeah. anybody that's interested just don't expect too much from the ending <laughs> if, of course he lives you know well yeah. what do you expect it's Halloween it's Michael Myers and they gotta make money <laughs> yeah exactly um, I was going to ask you something on here. Uh, hold on. Did you know about the, so one of the uh, stars from the original uh, Night of the Living Dead died, one of the cast. It was, uh, I think it was the wife of the dude that was in the basement. Remember that? Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it was her. I forgot her name, though, the actress. It's an old-ass movie, though, so she must have been pretty old, too, though. Yeah. Hell, yeah. She came out in the 60s and shit. Yeah. But, uh, well, R.I.P. to her, man. I'll tell you what, uh, I'm not too excited about, uh, do you remember the Lost Boys, right? The vampire movie? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, that's low key. Well, that's one of my favorite vampire movies, man. Me too. Love that film. I tried to go oh, visit the, cool. the, what's that shit called? The place in Santa Cruz, the boardwalk. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I did go to it. I was with my mom, though, and it was like, it was too packed, though, man. I was like, uh, well, I, was, I was scared, you know, COVID and all that shit, because my mom, you know, her age. And right. And I was yeah. like, well, we'll just skip this shit and just. Keep on going to San Francisco, but I do want to return and, and you know go on there. But uh okay, what I heard in the news is they're making a remake. Yeah, I heard the same thing. They have I'm a good like, cast though. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, dude, have... I, I haven't seen the cast, so I don't know who's in it, but uh we'll see. Yeah, these, I've seen the sequels. Two... Have you ever seen those? Like, uh, break yeah. the DVD. Yeah, Terrible. not so great. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, not so great at all. There's something about the original man that just made it cool. Yeah, it's like it's of it's, its time. The leather jackets. It's the eighties. It's the eighties, yeah. yeah. If it's that guy with the saxophone and the spandex, <laughs> that, I don't know. Just that scene you know, never made sense to me until now that it, I found out that uh, you know the director was gay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, was he? Yeah, because he's the same know. guy that made Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. You know what I mean? Okay. So Yeah. So now I'm like, oh, well, now this makes sense to why certain scenes in that, you know, in that movie were like that. Because uh, I think even the main character of one of the teenagers, he had like some poster, some half naked dude in his, his room and shit. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> and so, but now it just makes sense. I'm like, oh, okay, that okay. makes sense. Makes totally sense. So he filmed sense. that just for his own kicks. Exactly. Yeah. So that's okay. where that comes from. But it's a good movie, man. Like the soundtrack and everything. We'll, well see if this one. remake is good. Some remakes are good. Some remakes aren't that great. Yeah. Uh, what did you think about the remake of? God, what is this movie called? It's also a vampire movie, and Colin Farrell comes out in it. Oh, I know what you thought. Love Fright Night. Yeah, Fright, Fright Night. Night. Yeah, I liked it. I liked the. I did too. Yeah, it was fun. I thought it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, I like oh, the eighties one too. You know what I mean? But they're both cool to me. Yeah, I did like it. Like I said, some are good. Some are I don't know. Some are just terrible. Yeah, it was like a new take on it. I, I did like what they did with it. It was cool. Like it was set in Vegas and it made sense. Like the vampire dude worked at night, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I'm like, yeah, that totally makes total sense. I liked it. It was cool. Yeah, it was I haven't cool. seen it in a while, you know what I mean? But, but it was cool. Um, I don't know what else I've seen. I haven't, uh, I'm trying to remember what else I've seen. Have you seen There's anything a lot of on the Shutter? That creep show? Have you seen any? Is it? Uh, I, I was kind of half ass watching it because I was drawing and watching uh, one of the episodes and. And I didn't pay enough attention to it. That's the problem. So that's why oh, okay. I'm not really, it's kind of, it's kind of a blur to me. I was just okay. drawing and just had my mind on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 No, I'm but, still watching uh Fear of the Walking Dead. Fear of the Walking sorry, Dead. Uh, wa- the Walking Dead. Oh, The Walking Dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm still watching that show it. after like I don't know, hundred twenty seasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember still, when this came out, man. Oh, yeah, it was, hold on. Give me a second. Uh, I think my fucking. Yeah. The bell rung or some shit. I'm gonna pause the recording real quick. Pizza man. All right. All right, people. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Girl Scout cookies came by and I didn't get any cookies, but I got some chocolate covered almonds. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I've never really bought any from Girl Scout cookies, but I heard they're good. You know what I'm saying? So they are good, bro. I went in and tried the coconut ones next time. Oh, yeah, damn. I should have. Yeah. I love coconut, like ch- chocolate covered coconut. Man, that's always good. Oh, man. They're yeah. so good. I haven't had one of those bad boys in forever. They be trying to punk you though at the stores with the sometimes with the <laughs> Girl Scouts and shit. So, yeah. Hey, Mister, you know, what I'm just like God damn, I got no money over. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> they're ruthless, man. But, uh, yeah. Shout out to the Girl Scout cookies, man. Shout out. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what were you talking about? See, there he goes again. I can't remember. Fuck. 
Well, have you ever, uh, do you like um, Gremlin movies? Did you ever like get into the Gremlins? I thought, yeah, I thought they were funny. Yeah, they were yeah. cool. Did you did you remember the knockoff versions though? Like, uh, I think it was uh, Ghoul- Ghoulies. Ghoul- oh, yeah, Ghoulies yeah, I remember. And, uh, those were like super cheesy, like yeah. B movies. You know what I mean? <laughs> I remember they had another one. They had a few of them, dog. Some of them were like really bad. I, one came out like in 1993. I was in Columbia still, and I remember I watched it. It was so fucking whack. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, dude? it was terrible, man. It's nothing yeah. like the originals. I think Critters was really the only one that was like good knockoff. You know what I mean? Yeah, Chris was cool. I yeah, did Chris like that was, one. I, did, I liked all, like, I think they had made like three or four of them and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I liked them a lot, even though as cheesy as they were, they were entertaining, man. Like it was cool, man. Like they were like aliens and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you know? Uh, cool. Oh my oh, bad. Man. I was gonna say, did you know Gremlins is like based on real life like mythos or whatever? Did you, nah, did I didn't you know that. Yeah, because uh, in the original one, one of the guys does mention it. He was like, oh, I was in World War II and they had gremlins and we were fighting them and shit. You know what I mean? And, um, but that, yeah, that's where it comes from, though. It's weird. If you ever look it up, it's uh, they were blaming gremlins for like technical difficulties on planes, like when planes would fuck up. And it's actual like an investigation. Like it was like they took it really serious. It's fucking bizarre as fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, you should look I it up, man. About that. It's, it's really crazy, man. That's why Bugs Bunny. I don't know if you remember, there's a Gremlin episode, an old Is 1940s, it? yeah. And that's the only time that somebody, like, outsmarted Bugs Bunny and fucked him up instead of, you know, the other way around. Oh, wow. So, yeah, he was fucking with Bugs Bunny hard. He, Bugs Bunny <laughs> couldn't keep up, dude. I was like, damn, bro. Damn, Outsmarted Doc. Bugs, man. That's crazy, yo. I got to see that, man. Yeah, that, that was a cool episode, man. That's one of my favorite uh, episodes, man, too. Uh, Bugs Bunny out. trips out. He's like, he's like, what the fuck? Is it like an all black thing? Like it's mean, all like, black and furry? Yeah, it's a weird. Well, on the, on that show, it was weird. Yeah, it was like a weird looking alien looking thing. It was, it's hard oh, to describe. Okay. I'm it trying to remember really if I've seen it. I can't. He, he was on a plane. I think he had a helmet on or some shit, but he was like this little weird. He didn't look like the movie Gremlins, so, though. You know, he okay. like different. He was like this little short little thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. It was, it was weird. But uh, that shit's funny. One of, my, one of my favorite Twilight Zone episodes is that Gremlin one where he's fucking up the wing of the plane. There's something on the wing. <laughs> something. Yeah. The, they have two versions, you know, the original William Shatter one. Yeah. And then they had the movie uh, the version. Movie version. Too. Yeah. yeah. Is, is yeah. that the one you're talking about? Or do you, which yeah, one do you yeah. prefer? Well, Both? I actually prefer the William Shatner one, the black yeah. and white. I do too, but it's funny. Like the, the suit, the, the, you know, it looks yeah, like yeah. a big ass. <laughs> this, that shit's funny. But it is cool, man. It's like the acting in it is pretty cool, man. I mean, William Shatner, bro, you can't go wrong. Uh, he went to space, man. That's crazy, yo. At like, 90 Captain years Kirk, old. 90 I probably years couldn't old. do that shit, man. I was like, damn. That's crazy. Dude. That's crazy. Uh, he does, he space, looks young, dude. He still he, looks good. He looks like age. he's 70. years old? Yeah. Yeah, he does look like he's 70, right? He got all emotional and shit, man. I was like, damn. That's crazy. Captain Kirk made it. Captain for sure. Kirk, man. All we need is uh, what the other dude, Picard. You know what I'm saying? From the yeah, next yeah, generation. Yeah. Sorry. I'm a little on the trick. I'm not hardcore, but I did catch some uh, you know, some of the movies, <laughs> and, you know, you know what I'm saying? Some of the shows and shit, man. Did you do you prefer Star Trek or Star Wars? That was always the argument back when I was a kid. I remember. Yeah. But back then I was definitely more Star Wars than Star Trek. Star Wars. Okay. Back saying, then? What about now? Well, because Star Wars, well, some of the Star Wars, like the movies, I didn't like the recent movies, but I did like the shows, though, you know what I mean? So okay. it's still hard. I still I, I think I still would say Star Wars, man, over Star Trek. Because Star mm-hmm. Trek's kind of it's a little bit uneven for me the way right. it goes, you know. Actually, but I can't even I can't I can't argue with it because I never actually saw Star Trek, so I, I don't know what yeah. I would be comparing it to, yeah. you know. It's the more only nerdy. Star Trek I saw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The only Star Trek I ever saw were the movies okay. with Chris but, Pine. Oh, those are cool though. I like I like the first yeah, one. Yeah, those too. are cool. The 09 one. Yeah. I like yeah. that one. Uh the, the hardcore Trekkies didn't I think they were like eh, it's not it was too fast paced and too action orientated, I think. And the, the, movie, the, the older movies were slow, man. Like some of the movies yeah. were like, really slow. That's why with I, Patrick I, Stewart. Yeah, Patrick Stewart. I actually like the shows more than the movies for the most part on Star Trek. Like I like I've Generation. I've never seen an episode. Damn. Like with Lavar Burton. Yeah, but see, back then, man, like this was back in the you know early nineties, and we were, we had to take what we can get back then. You know, as kids, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I was like, you know, it was a show where they had motherfuckers shooting lasers, I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in. This is cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. That's why I watched it back in the days, man. It's just like, okay. that's what was on TV, man. So Might as well watch it, right? Yeah. On basic cable, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fox. <laughs> but, yeah. There's a movie that I'm really uh, interested in watching. It's Ghostbusters. Oh, damn. I, I was just going to say... Yeah, I should. I, I definitely forgot to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Those I it looks see good. It. it looks good, man. Yeah, the the um son of the original director, um, Rick. Ba- oh, not Rick Baker, but um, uh, Ivan something. I forgot his last name, but he's yeah. the one that's directed. His son's directing this. Oh, really? And, yeah, and his dad's been. You know, he's been on set too. You know what I mean? So that shit's cool, man. That's a, it's a it's oh, a family cool. thing, man. So that's what's cool about it. So he respects yeah. the material and everything. So I, they know what they're doing with this one, man. And I'm um, glad that it's not um, like a revamp. They're just continuing. Yeah, like this 2016 shit. Like it was a yeah, over, over, yeah. That was like, I didn't even watch it, bro. To be honest, I did. With- <laughs> I rented it. And I was like, <laughs> the jokes didn't land for me on that one. That's that's one no. of the things. Like, and then it wasn't. Like, you know, even though Ghostbusters is kind of a comedy, uh, it still had horror elements that were creepy. It did, yeah. This one didn't, the 2016 really didn't. It had like, it felt like Disney, like a Disney movie. Goofy movie, huh? Yeah. Goofy ass. That's the one with uh, Chris Hemsworth, right? Thor was Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. He's probably one of the funniest parts about that movie because he just plays like a dumb blonde (laughs) secretary. You know? (laughs) So, yeah, but but the cameos sucked too. The cameos were horrible from the original Ghostbusters. Who comes on in it? All of them, uh, the secretary, oh, yeah, they all come out, but they're not they're not playing the roles that they originally played. They're playing like different people, like completely. Okay, so that was weird. Um, so I, I didn't like it. I thought it was weak, weak sauce. You know, what I'm saying? Uh, no. Apparently, yeah. a lot of other people didn't like it either. Because have you heard about part two? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. Yeah, because they're, like, they're like, nah, nah. That's we're gonna pretend this didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh. You know what they've, they've been doing, uh, the Sony or whoever's in charge of Ghostbusters, they've been releasing the old Ghostbusters cartoons on YouTube for, like, free. Oh, yeah? And they have okay. some good episodes. Like, those were, they have some legitimate creepy episodes in some of those. Um, I don't like remember the, a Ghostbusters cartoon episode. Yeah, there's there's one that's based on Halloween, and, um, and uh, the demon or the head of it is, like, this pumpkin. It has a pumpkin-shaped head, but he's really creepy. Uh, Sam Well, I think. And I think okay. that's part of the original Halloween mythos or legends or whatever was uh, tied to that. So that one's really cool. They have a few other ones. Uh, did you ever see the Boogeyman one? Or well, you said you don't remember. Nah, that one's don't, fucking nah. creepy. Oh, man. Yeah. She gave me nightmares. It's like this bizarre looking fucking creature. He kind of looks like the Joker in the face, but he has like goat feet and a tail. Oh, and he's wearing like this Oof. fucking tuxedo looking thing, but no pants and shit. You know what I mean? That's like, creepy. Really, yeah, it's, it's Ow, creepy shit. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Technical difficulty, guys. Technical difficulty, one yeah. Second. That one was definitely one of the creepiest ones. There's another one I like that's really cool. It's about vampires and werewolves. And, you know, those obviously aren't ghosts. You know, werewolves and vampires are not ghosts. So the Ghostbusters didn't even want to deal with it. They were like, nah, fuck that. But they, they you know, they got gold for it. Like this little girl gives them gold money. It's like, hey, come to our town and help us. And the, and the twist ends up being that this... uh the werewolves turn into vampires or something. Just like this weird mix. That's strange. Shit. And then it's, but it's a fight between both of them, the lichens. And at the end, yeah. Ghostbusters pretty much just makes them turn all against each other. And they're like, we got to get the fuck out of here pretty much before <laughs> this shit. I mean, we handle ghosts, not monsters, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is a little too it's, much. It's a good episode. I definitely uh, encourage, you know, younger, the younger crowd to definitely check them out, man. It's like, that's what got me oh, into Sony, huh? Yeah. Uh, the Ghostbusters yeah. YouTube channel has it. Speaking yeah. of Sony, did you watch Venom versus Carnage? Nah, I didn't catch it. I didn't I see did. it either. Okay. I heard it had it's a little bit more comedic than what people expected, which is yeah. the downside of it. Uh, I haven't even read the reviews about it, so I don't know how it oh, did. Okay. But uh, I wasn't a big fan of part one, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Which is a bummer because I really like that guy, Tom Hardy. He's Tom a good Hardy. actor. He's the reason I went to see it, and not just that, but the visual effects I thought looked cool on Venom. It did look cool, but, yeah. Uh, it was definitely uh, the plot itself and the villains were, I think, were kind of weak. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it felt like a '90s superhero movie instead of. Yeah, Marvel. it did feel like that way. Yeah, bootleg Marvel. There was something missing about it. I don't know what it was, <laughs> yeah. but there's something missing about it. So that's why I'm like, uh, 
Did you did you see the Morbius trailer? Are you familiar with? I didn't. Morbius? No, I just seen like the screenshots oh. of it. I haven't. I haven't it's seen good. The I trailer. think it's cool, man. But hopefully, Jared Leto, right? Yeah, Jared Leto. But because it's Sony, like, who knows how this exactly? Goes, That's so we'll see. That's the bad but, part about it. I hope it somehow ties us back into Blade, man, because I really want to see a Blade movie. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, With that heard, guy, that's a what's his name? Captain Marsha. He has a really long name, I think. The new guy, the yeah. new Blade. The new Blade, yeah. yeah. He's a good actor. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's been a lot. I like of that movies. dude. I think he's gonna do a great job in that film. Yeah, I'm excited um, to see that. There's an Easter egg apparently in that new Marvel Eternals movie. Um, they that? said there's the sword, Blade sword. Is in there or some shit, and you could actually okay. hear his voice or some shit. But I haven't seen Eternal, so I, w- I don't know. Um, I haven't seen opinions, it either. It came out, mixed opinions yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was um, bummed out to hear about that because when it comes to Marvel, I'm not familiar with the with Eternals at all. Like Marvel Comics, the original. Marvel me neither, movie. bro. I had no idea who they were until who? I heard about the movie coming out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, who the fuck is <laughs> Apparently, this? they've been around forever. <laughs> yeah, they got old ass comics. I, am, I don't. Never read one comic from the Eternals, but nah. whoever has those comics, man, you're gonna make some good money. Save that. Yeah, definitely. Get it graded. I'm excited for I'll tell you what, I'm excited for Doctor Strange, uh, the multiverse of madness. Uh, uh yeah. I heard it's gonna have a lot of horror elements. That's why. Oh, really? Saying, we're tapping into demonic shit. Okay. Maybe even uh Mephisto. That's like the say say devil say Satan version of the Marvel universe. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people thought he was gonna come out in WandaVision, but apparently that was just it wasn't. That's not what happened. <laughs> you know. What I'm yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But uh, <laughs> I'm excited, man, because Doctor Strange does ties into some weird shit. You know. And uh, oh, I, cool. I watched the animated movies. Uh, did you watch the, it? The What If. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah, I did see it. Okay. I what really think of the Doctor one? Strange one. I thought it was cool, man. Okay. He went and a little the crazy. Zombie man. one. Oh, that one. You know, you got to talk about that shit. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I read the actual zombie books. um, Oh, I I remember the Marvel Zombies. Marvel Zombies, yeah. Yeah. It was a pretty cool story. I actually liked it. Okay. I haven't haven't read them, but I remember the artwork because it was like very prevalent. I've seen it everywhere. They redid it too. They redid it like, uh, I think, two years, two, three years ago. Oh, okay. And the new story. So it's not like it picks up from the old one. It just, it's a new story. Oh, just really and it's cool. really good. It's pretty cool. Um, oh, okay. It, it's some virus that's going around and all the superheroes are going to investigate. And the virus is deep inside of Galactus. So they go into Galactus and what the fuck? they find him. He's like dead, right? So they go inside and then they get trapped in there. Oh, shit. And they get trapped by mutants or superheroes that are already zombies. Oh. Like, for example, Thor tries to escape. And on the way outside of Galactus, he has to fight. Um, God, what's his name? The Marvel version of Superman. He's got like this uh, punk haircut. I can't remember his name it's right not now. Not Captain Marvel, is it? Or no, I know there's Captain like Marvel. male versions of her too, and like female. Damn, I can't think. Gladiator. That's his name. He has to fight remember. Gladiator. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's like the Marvel version of Superman. He can shoot beams from his eyes. He's super strong. He can fly. I heard that's what they got in the Eternals. They got a dude that's like Superman. Yeah, I think they have a version of him too. Yeah. Damn. But yeah, I'm curious to see that movie. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Everybody's got their own opinion, you know? So yeah. we'll see. I mean, it's got a good cast. Tom Hayek. Yeah. Uh, the, the dude yeah. from... Um, God, what's, what's that show? HBO oh, show. The, the Game Indian of Thrones. Man? Or, that dude too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy uh, from Game of Thrones. Two guys from Game of Thrones. I mean, it's Marvel. You know what I mean? They do good yeah. shit for the most part. That that Kung Fu movie, Shang Chi. I didn't see that one. Oh I didn't see that one. God, that's just good. If you're into Kung Fu shit, it's good. Half of it, but it's it's weird though because half of it is that Kung Fu type shit. Okay. And the last half is straight up Marvel superhero fighting CG monsters. You know. What okay. I'm saying? But man, I watched it with my mom, bro, twice. Yeah. Twice, oh, damn, damn twice. And she liked it too, man. I was like, I was surprised, man, but she loved it too, man. She really liked it. Okay, and then so, I gotta man, go watch it. It's a, it's a fun movie, I'll say that. And especially, don't miss out on it. Like you have to catch the very beginning. Like don't leave the popcorn. On okay. Just watch the the that nah, first half. I'm gonna just stream it. <laughs> Fuck it. Like oh yeah, I forgot yeah Disney Plus hell yeah stream it. Yeah. But it, it's really cool, man. It has some yeah. excellent scenes in it, man. Like, okay, yeah, cool I was scenes. curious to watch that movie. I was like, I don't know. But I'm, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, for sure. 
But yeah, hopefully Marvel comes out with that dark shit, man. I'm, that's what I want, man. The dark. I would Marvel really shit. hope that they come out with something Marvel zombies. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, the movie I think a lot version. of people would be into it. Yeah, definitely. Even if it's they a cartoon should. version, that'd be cool. Yeah, I think they might continue uh, what they did with the what if into a se- I think they have a season two coming out, man. I think so, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I, I like, like about WandaVision, too. They had that heart elements in it. You know? yeah, a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, a little bit of heart Witch elements, shit. man. Witch shit. Yeah, Witch brujerias. <laughs> <laughs> Witch grass and shit, man. But it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't think of nothing else that I was even talking about. Except, you're, were you ever into, like, Charlie Brown's p- Great Pumpkin and all that shit? Or nah, man. Charlie? I was never okay. really into Charlie Brown. Never, never saw any of the cartoons. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Are you, are you a fan of, like, Back in the day when TV shows or even now when they would just it could be a re- any show and all of a sudden that Halloween episode though. Everything's yeah, it was all spooky and shit. Yeah, I love that yeah. shit too, man. I love when, when TV shows do that, man. Like especially the creepy. Simpsons. Yeah, the Simpsons Tree House of Horror, man. I love yeah. that shit. I still watch <laughs> that shit. They're really creative, man, with that shit. Oh, uh, I like the episode where Mr. Mr. Burns is uh Dracula. Oh cool yeah, episode. the Burns on his shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's a classic one, man. I remember that shit, man. They got some yeah. good ones, man. They do have some good ones. Yeah. I was actually watching one of the latest because I haven't seen The Simpsons, honestly, bro. And I don't yeah, know yeah. how long it's been. I haven't, I haven't kept up with it. I feel you. But I was too. cooking and I was watching one of the episodes. It was all right. It was cool. You yeah. know, it still has its its thing. Simpsons. I mean, for, isms. Yeah. It was yeah, funny. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Shit, I don't know what else to talk about. Be honest, that was that was one of the main things. Like I said, I didn't really get to catch too many horror movies this uh this uh, October. Any new? I did shows. watch. I did watch this cool um series on Netflix. It's called Midnight Mass. It's pretty interesting. It's about it vampires. Cool. Oh, damn! Really? Is it? How good is it? Like, uh, it's it's good. It's not okay. like it has. It doesn't have like all these gory scenes, anything like that. Like eighties type. But it, it's more of a drama movie. I'm okay. sorry, series. Gotcha. So the premise of it is it's about a little town. It's an island, actually. And you have to take a ferry to get there. It's somewhere off in the East Coast. I'm not exactly too sure, too sure where. It's probably Maine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, so you have to take a ferry to get there. So it's secluded from everything else. But it's a little small little town. Fishermen, pretty much what everyone does. Um, they have a little church. They have a preacher. Anyway, the <laughs> town preacher, he's he leaves. He's an old man. And another younger man comes and says that the preacher, he's sick, so he can't make it. So he's going to be taking over for, for, for quite a while. Anyway, what happens is the old man, he went to Jerusalem. And there, something happened, and he gets lost out in the desert. In Jerusalem? Stu- yeah. Oh, wow. And he comes across an actual Dracula. Um, and I don't know. I think he mistakes him for, like, an angel for whatever reason. <laughs> but the old man is dying, and so this angel, which is actually a Dracula, gives him his blood so he can live. Damn. So the old man comes back as this young preacher. And so the preacher gives a little bit of blood to everybody during mass and everybody's getting better. Like there's, for example, there's this little girl, she's in a wheelchair. And then after like a week, she doesn't need it anymore. She miraculously is walking again. Hmm. And another guy, he's a guy like back problems and he gets better. So like little miracles start happening. Uh, People start getting better, but it's because he's giving these people Dracula's blood. Damn. Gotta get Um, that Dracula blood. Yeah. So it just keeps getting further and further and it's pretty cool it's a good show so if anybody likes vampire movies or dracula movies i think you'll enjoy this show i think i'm watching don't expect it. anything gory though what no gore. it does have gory stuff in it but not like to the extreme oh, okay i still gotta yeah. watch salem's lot man i gotta watch the 70s old school you know show that they had i'm you know, the still trying to finish that goddamn book Damn. <laughs> <laughs> i'm still like on chapter two right now and... wow um, I yeah. actually, you know what? I did watch something uh, cool. It's I'm I'm a fan of the uh, the character in general, uh, John uh, Constantine, uh, aka Hellblazer comics oh, from okay. the uh, Vertigo comics from the '90s and '80s. Um, he had they had an animated movie. It's called uh, City of Demons. 
And um, yeah. and basically, uh, it's a you know, typical John Constantine thing where he has to make deals with devils and he screws them over mm-hmm. and you know, all that kind of shit. It's uh, if, if you watch, if you're familiar with Hellblazer comics, it's, it follows very similar beats, all that. But I thought it was done cool, man, because it's a city of demons, but what it is, it's LA. <laughs> so okay. He comes to LA. I forgot what happened. It was something where, you know, some weird shit's going on with demons and, you know, souls and all that shit. And he makes, he finds this devil and this devil kind of hires him to do some shit. And, um, but he ends up fucking, they end up fucking each other over. And then there's another <laughs> Aztec demon that they used to be like, I guess the king of LA or before, you know, human settlements and all that shit. So he was from okay. that era. And so they fight him first. And then, you know, it's, it's just typical, you know, Constantine shit, but it, it's done well, man. Like the animation. Okay. And so, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, uh, just definitely watch it, man. I'm a, I'm a fan of, a. Uh, did you watch the Keanu Reeves Constantine? I did movie? watch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's shit it like cool. that basically. Yeah. It it's cool. shit like that. Except, you know, uh, Matt Ryan voices uh, Constantine, so he has that British accent, so it's more true uh, to the comics and stuff, you know. Okay, he's, yeah, that's right, he is. He's, he's a little bit more humorous and shit, you know what I mean? But okay. it's always kind of a downer, too, though, because John Constantine, his thing is, in the movie version, it kind of reason was different, but in the, in the real version, uh, he basically was trying to um, help this girl in the past when he mm-hmm. was younger, and she had a demon in him, and he tried to use another demon to get her out, and what ended up happening, she ended up dying anyways, and she ended up being cast to hell. And so he kind of lives mm. with that guilt. And so okay. all most all those stories center on that. It's always in the background. And he knows right. that when he dies, he's going to hell because of that. So that's another thing that is kind of like just in the back of his head. Oh, so I, um, I kind of if you always see the artwork, it's always him featuring like skulls and shit and creepy looking shit. And always my interpretation of that is like because I'm drawing a piece right now on it. And um Mm-hmm. the skulls and shit like that represent death and they kind of they represent mortality you know what i mean and so when you see that around it's kind of a reminder of where he's going like you're gonna die and you're going to hell and this is just kind of like a reminder it's, i think that's what it means because i always see all his covers and shit always that's a good analogy yeah, yeah kind of it makes sense shit, yeah I don't know. I was just thinking. I think I was just high or something. I was just, <laughs> I was just thinking that shit. But uh, that is a piece I'm working on. It's gonna be. Little, it's creepy, man. It's, a, it's you know that oh, skull. Nice. Um, I'm using the movie. I mean, not the TV show version of him, and it's a bunch of skulls and shit. But it looks cool, man. Like it's based on a, a cover, I think, from the comics. Okay. And stuff. Yeah. So. Hey, have you heard anything, or, or have you studied anything about NFTs? Yeah, it's, it's a little controversial, apparently. Uh, but I know people, some some artists are making money off of it. Um, some people are just saying it's like a gold rush type thing. You know? It is like a gold rush. I mean, yeah. why not get in it though, if it is? Yeah. But I guess the other thing is apparently it's causing some kind of uh, pollution problem or something where they're keeping, where they housing the NFTs or whatever, or the data banks or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's causing some kind of, I don't know, some kind of pollution or something. It's bad really? for the environment. Yeah, that's that's the controversy about it. You know, huh, I, mean, I didn't hear about uh, that part. In regards to that, if I find out my shit's getting sold by somebody else <laughs> coming after y'all motherfuckers, man, so y'all better not get my shit off like Twitter candy, or anything. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm coming after y'all like Candy oh, Man. Shit. Say my name five times, all the lunatic. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, not three. But, uh, <laughs> it's five actually, man. It's, it's actually five for Candy Man. It's three. You're thinking about uh, Bloody Mary. You know? What oh, okay, that's yeah. right. Candy yeah. man got you saying that shit for like five times. Fuck, you know, man. By the fourth time, you're like, I don't know about this. Maybe I shouldn't say it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. But yeah, did they look into it, man? You might be able to sell your art. Yeah. Rob Bacon, shout out to Rob, my cousin. Uh, he he mentioned it to me. So yeah, um, yeah we'll see. I told him, I was like, well, see if um, you can do it. You can get a cut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Help me sell them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. yeah. Start off with the um, the piece you did for the book, Wrath of the Undead. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, ref and yeah, we'll see yeah. where it goes. You never know. Yeah, I just made uh, I made a few websites uh like two weeks ago, like more websites that sell prints and stuff. So hopefully uh, I'll start selling on there too, man. I had an idea about that actually. I was gonna tell you. Oh, okay. To sell to sell that piece, right? That you did the color yeah. piece for Wrath of the Undead, where it's the two main people and it's overlooking the city. Oh yeah, the poster thing on yeah. the bridge. Yeah. Uh to sell that piece. And then whoever buys it can get an actual PDF copy of the book. Oh, no, oh, that's that's dope, man. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, we, the, gotta, we gotta set we gotta figure out how to set it up. We we'll figure it out. Yeah, I was looking um, into it, I was reading about it a little bit, but I need to read a little bit more about it, okay. get into depth into actually how to set that up. 
Uh, but yeah, we'll figure it out. And we'll, we'll I'm also setting up an Amazon store. Um, yeah, I'm setting up an Amazon store for art and well, not just okay. art, but for like shirts and shit. But well, I'm still waiting. I guess it takes like two weeks or something. But I was gonna sell those uh, raffle on dead pieces on there as well. You know, okay. like on shirts and shit because they handle the merch. It's kind of like T Public, except it's Amazon. Yeah, and uh, it's a little harder to get into though because you can't just put out anything because it has to be. It can't be copywritten shit. You know, it can't. I can't put out like yeah. This, you know, I fucking hate that shit. Yeah, I know. It is what it is, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, but I've been selling well yeah. on T Public, man. A lot of my horror pieces are doing good, like my uh, Michael Jackson Thriller T. That's okay, everybody nice. always buys those, man. So I've been yeah, selling that one's cool. still. Yeah. So oh, man. You know, we still making money, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So it's all yeah, about the greens. Yeah. All about the green, baby, you know. <laughs> all right, bro. Well, it was good chatting with you. Yeah, it's an hour, man. We gave y'all an hour. It's the Halloween special, man. You know, we had to do something for it, you know what I'm saying? We almost didn't do it. Yeah. You know, do the schedule. Yeah, it's a little late, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Belated, but hey, man, it's spooky, man. If y'all into the spooky shit, you already know where to go, man. Shit. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make All sure right, to people. put in those uh spoiler alert alerts. Yeah, I need to put those sound effects. Alerts, yeah. But now we could now since we're doing video, I could put the little like you know, I could put the little uh, captions and shit for like your website or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we cool. Yeah. Shit now. We doing we're doing videos now, man. You know what I'm saying? So but uh yeah, I'm uh, this is gonna be uploaded, you know, the, the regular way we do. You know what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, for yeah, podcasts yeah. or whatever. But I'm also do this one for uh, YouTube and all, all that. Cool. You know, all that That's stuff, dope, man. You know what I'm so yeah, check us out. All right, man. brother. Well, good chatting with you, bro. Same here. Likewise, man. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to see you soon, or I'll meet you, meet up with you soon, man. Get give you those videos or whatever. You know what I'm saying? All right. So sounds uh, good, yeah, brother. For sure, bro. All right, people. Thanks for listening, everybody. All right. Peace.